Welcome everyone to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. Today is the day that we prep for Germany as we head to Gamescom, one of the biggest gaming events in the world where hopefully you can capture some new Pokemon. We're definitely going to be meeting up with loads of other YouTubers and having an awesome, awesome time. Before we head off though, unfortunately we're going to go and drop off Little Eevee. And before all of the journey begins, I always want to talk to you guys about something called Shiny Pokemon. Maybe you guys know what they are, maybe you guys don't know what they are. And how Shiny Pokemon could be linked in to Pokemon Go. So I am really excited for today's episode. It's going to be a very fun one. It's going to involve some input from you guys as well. And come and join us as we set off on a new adventure traveling to another new country to play Pokemon Go and have a load of fun. So without further ado, let's kick it off. I am so excited guys to embark on our adventure to Gamescom. I think it's maybe the fourth or fifth time I've been. If you've ever been to it before, you'll know it's an absolutely crazy, huge gaming event with tons of new games to check out. And I'm gonna be heading out there to play new games, Try and find new Pokemon, hopefully, and as I said, meet up with loads of other YouTubers that will be coming along to the event as well. But before we embark on that awesome adventure and head off to Germany, I want to talk about something that's very close to my heart and I absolutely adore, which is shiny Pokemon in the Pokemon series. So before we talk about shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go, I want to explain it in the traditional Pokemon game, how shiny Pokemon work and exactly what they do. So shiny Pokemon are essentially a color palette change from your normal traditional looking Pokemon. So what I'm going to do throughout this little bit of the video is have as many shiny Pokemon scrolling on screen as possible so you guys can see what all the traditional and new Pokemon look like as a shiny Pokemon. So essentially the chance of a shiny Pokemon spawning in in the Pokemon game is approximately 1 in 8,192 out and about in the wild. It, it's very unlikely you could play many, many years of Pokemon and never come across a shiny Pokemon. I know that back in, I think, Pokemon Gold years and years ago, I came across a shiny Pokemon, but back then no one knew what it was. I thought it was a glitch. I was like, why is this Pokemon appearing as a complete wrong color? I think it was a Rhyhorn all the way back in Victory Road or something. I ran from it and never thought anything from it. And still I started to learn a little bit more about shiny Pokemon, how they work and exactly how rare they work. So if you're listening to this right now and you think this is the first time I've ever heard of shiny Pokemon I want you guys to think about any time you may have played your normal Pokemon game And did you ever come across a Pokemon that looked a little bit different because it could have been a shiny Pokemon and you may never have realized So unfortunately aside from the fact that the Pokemon looks very cool and very different to its normal Pokemon color scheme It doesn't have any better stats or any better statistics in any shape or form It is literally just a visual change to the Pokemon now there have been some slight changes to the chances of getting shiny Pokemon Pokemon from generation 6 onwards to Pokemon X and Y where the chance of it was actually halved so made doubly as good with about a 1 in 4096 chance of running into these Pokemon in the wild. Now as the games have developed there's been a few little tricks and a few little things you can do in the Pokemon games to increase the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon and uh, there was something called chaining. So you know we mentioned about like chaining Pokestops together and on the 10th unique Pokestop chain you've got like a mega drop where you've got 6 plus items. Think about that, but chaining the same Pokemon over and over. That was a thing you could do in Diamond and Pearl originally, and that's when I started to chain Pokemon. And the higher you got out the chain, the higher the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon is. It's very complicated, I won't go into it loads. I did talk about it in my vlogs like a little bit ago when I started going back and playing Diamond and Claire played Pearl. And the more you look into shiny Pokemon and the more you find a Pokemon you think looks awesome as a shiny, the more you want to try and get it. Now some of the most notable shiny Pokemon is for example Red Gap. Gyarados. In Pokemon Gold, obviously in the Lake of Rage, you come across a shiny Gyarados. It's red rather than blue, and you're always going to come across it in the game. And it's a great example of how a Pokemon that you're so used to seeing one color can look crazy as a shiny Pokemon. But why am I mentioning this? Well, I'm mentioning this because it's a key part of Pokemon. It's always been in there. So is it in Pokemon Go? Well, at the moment, there's been no official reported sightings of shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Obviously, there's like millions and millions of people playing it. So, if millions of people are playing it, someone's eventually going to come across a shiny Pokemon. Now, honestly, I really want them to introduce shiny Pokemon in some sort of update in the future. Because I think there's a reason to go out, capture Pokemon. Because if you know there's a tiny chance of finding one of those rare shiny Pokemon, there's another reason to play the game. Imagine if you come across a traditional Pidgey and BAM! Suddenly it's a shiny 
PG. It's super, super rare. It makes it extra special. It looks a lot cooler. And if you're battling with it in a gym or you're putting it in a gym, everyone's going to be like, wow, this freaking Pokemon is a complete different color. That is rare. Now, I was going through my tweets and I, I know I found a few shiny Pokemon in my time. And I found one tweet where I ran into a shiny Pokemon randomly by playing X and Y. And it was just crazy. Like, obviously, the chance is very, very small. And it's such an awesome feeling. And I want that awesome, tiny, tiny chance of finding a shiny Pokemon to hopefully be introduced into Pokemon Go. I think if they do introduce it, the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon will have to be even harder. Because there's just so many Pokemon to capture in Pokemon Go. You're capturing a lot more so than I say you would do in a traditional Pokemon game. But I'm sure the statistics and the chances can be worked out. And I want you guys to know if this is the first time you've heard about shiny Pokemon. If you think it'd be a really cool idea to add them into Pokemon Go because I think it'd be absolutely amazing And I'm sure if you've seen these for the first time or even if you've known about them You would think it's an awesome idea to have them in Pokemon Go So let me give you a few examples of some of my favorite shiny Pokemon from generation one shiny Charizard has a black color scheme It looks mean it looks crazy so awesome and such a good swap from the traditional colors looks amazing on top of that, Dragonite goes from an orangey yellow to like a dark green. It looks unreal. It looks like some sort of like dragon vampire. It's absolutely awesome. And then Nido King is a crazy fluorescent blue. Obviously like an Allier blue, so I've got to love it. So there's some crazy color changes for some of the Generation 1 Pokemon. Obviously all the ones that are currently in Pokemon Go. And they look so good as shiny Pokemon. So let me know down below. Do you want to see shiny Pokemon? If you do, which Pokemon do you think look the best? There's a different color palette as a shiny Pokemon because there are some seriously awesome ones out there. But I really wanted to cover that because it's something I genuinely feel really strongly about being introduced into the game at some point. Not only so people keep on playing the game, but just so you can get that tiny chance of getting something that looks awesome. But guys, we need to kick off our adventure today. We're continuing directly on from when I evolved into a Venusaur baby. <laughs> Missed out on a Snorlax all in last episode. It was a high dramatic emotional episode for sure. So let's continue our adventure. We need to go and drop off Eevee before we head off to Germany for Gamescom. So let's kick it off with another Pokemon Go adventure. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited. Let's do this. So since Claire and I are going to Germany for Gamescom for a week, obviously the little kitty cats and Eevee need to be looked after. The neighbors are going to look after the kitty cats, which is fine. So we've come back to my parents' house where Eevee is going to be chilling with little, where is she, little Ella there. So have a look at them both. They're so cute. Good girls. Look at you two being best of all friends. <laughs> Good girl. Look, Ella, can I have your favourite toy, Winnie the Pooh? Can I have it? Come on. <laughs> it's the only toy she won't let me anywhere near. <gasps> wait, 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 Evie, it's your time. It's your time, baby. The only time you'll ever be able to get it. Look at her. Ella's distracted. I haven't updated you guys in a while on how well my mum is doing on Pokemon Go. I get loads of tweets about it. She's currently level 23, which is the same level as Claire, and she's got some really good Pokemon. Some Pokemon I don't even have. So we're going to check in on her squad and see which one she's got, which Pokemon she's been leveling up and how she's been doing. All right, how has your Pokemon adventure been going, mum? Is it good? It's very good. Okay, yeah, she, she knows it's good. All right, let's check in on the squad. Okay, so let's have a look at your level, mum. What level are you right now? If oh, you go see. back. So you're currently 23. Actually, that's so good. Like, yeah. you're better than a lot of people that be watching these videos, I can't lie. Well, but there's a few top tips, you see. Yeah? You've like been involving lots of the pidgeys? I save all my evolutions and do them nice. with a lucky eggs. Yeah. I get double the points. Hey. So I suddenly get tens of thousands of points, yeah. which is amazing. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at your Pokemon, because I want to show these guys. So you've been evolving Eevees, and you've been yeah, getting yeah, yeah. the very point. Did you do the name trick, or have you just been doing it randomly? Yeah, I did what you said. The first three, there seems to be quite a lot of Eevees around here, and I've had some in the eggs. So yeah. I did the three names and got yeah. the three different ones. Yeah. And then the last ones, I thought, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, so I just evolved it as Eevee. And you got like you got <laughs> luckier than I did. Every time. I think I might have powered him up a little. Okay, nice. Well, that's a really strong main Pokemon. You've got a Rapidash. I yeah. don't have a Rapidash don't currently, you? so that's a Pokemon I don't yeah. have. Claire's just evolved one of hers, actually. Yeah, I think I got so, the. I think I got Ponyta and an egg. Yeah, it will definitely be eggs. More, yeah. That's awesome. But I want to highlight one. So if we go back, where is this little guy? So Claire and I went into London. We've oh, got a Sand Slash. I don't have a Sand Slash either. Did you get that from eggs as well? Uh, yeah. I think I found one and then two eggs. Nice, so I haven't found any wild centuries actually. <laughs> well, I got him yesterday, he's cool. Tangler's cool, that'd be <laughs> yeah. from a, from a <laughs> from 10k egg, I think, an egg, yeah. or 5k egg actually. Yeah. So you literally hatched a Growlithe today while we are in the oh, garden, didn't you? quite exciting, yeah. Claire said, oh, it might be a Growlithe. I went, no, oh, it is. 
That's so good. I wish I'd filmed that. It was such good luck. Claire and I in London found wild ones of these. I didn't get mine. Claire did. But those Rapidash and Cadaver, I don't have either of them. So it's Pokemon that I don't have, but you do. And you've got 20 more, 26 more candies. That's so good. Literally, the garden right here, Pokemon spawn in as mum and mum's <laughs> doing gardening. So she's just got the best spot ever. I think little Easter would love a garden this big. Look at it. So guys, leave a comment down below if you've got your parents playing Pokemon Go, letting me know how they're doing, and also update me on how you're doing as well, because I think my mom could be beating some of you guys. But let us know, leave a comment down below, letting us know what level you are and how well you're doing. So little Evie spawned on me because of my incense here in the airport. So she may not be coming with us on this Gamescom Germany adventure, but she's here with us in spirit in the airport. <gasps> Another Evie spawned. Did you good? 41. <laughs> Evie definitely wants to be with us on this trip though, doesn't she? she? Does. Poor I little thing. So I know, I know. So Evie but Evie's dropped off, the cat's back home will be looked after, and Claire and I have arrived at the airport after a little bit of a stressful journey yeah, we're here. We've had our pancakes. Yes. Alright, And now what we're gonna be doing is taking on one of the gyms here before we get on our flight and taking down Terminal 5 Heathrow and making it team with it. So let me actually show you guys. Claire's team, because I haven't showed you her squad, I don't think it's in a while, so let's no. take a look. So this is just my water Pokemon squad, because basically oh, okay. the team gym, the Valor, I think it's been held down by Flareon. Oh nice. So we want to bring in our water Pokemon. This little guy, I evolved, what, like, yeah, last night, the night before? Yeah, you evolved your water too when I evolved my Venusaur. Yes. Can I show him your Rapidash as well? Yeah. This is my Rapide. You evolved that uh, on our birthday weekend yeah. away, didn't we? So that's so cool, I love that. So Claire's got an awesome squad. I still need that Rapidash, but now we're gonna take down this gym together and make it Team Mystic. You said, what is it, a lot of fire Pokemon in there? Oh, fire and oh, water, okay. I'm gonna bring in Jolts as well then. Oh, I'm gonna use Venusaur for the first time. Let's go, please. I've this got a really sick. good Jolteon because <laughs> my brain is tricked in and Yeah, yours didn't work either, did so, it? So like a 701 EV went to 1,200 oh. Jolteon. All right, well I'm gonna finish it. Venus are out first, which is a bad idea, but let's just do it anyway. And oh, jump. That's, that's fire. I know, I know, it's all I've got, it's all I've got. All right, we're both in. Look at my Venus, oh, this is the worst pipe match I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> but look oh, how good cool he looks. Yo, he looks mad. Okay, I yeah, need your I... water poker to really help me out here, actually. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Now, he doesn't have solar beam, unfortunately. Yo, uh, oh my god, okay. I'm this is where. Yo, this is where things get good for you, so we should get good at least. Come on, Joel. Nice. Joel Tion, we got electric from Claire, grass for me, so this is like the ultimate combo right here. Yeah. This should be amazing. Venus was quite slow. He's, he's a fat toe. He's a slow yeah. one as well. Has he got super high HP? Uh, I think he's got decent HP. I wish he knew Solar Beam though. That'd be such an awesome move. Hey. Nice hey. one. Hey. I can high five your side this time. <laughs> I'm the one with no hands for you too. Ooh, we've got to take it down one more time. Yeah. Right, let's just smash this guy down to this final, final stage. And actually, I'm going to try and go back to being so he's no weak. <laughs> it's fine, go on without me. <laughs> no, we're jumping in here, we're fine. And maybe we, I reckon, I reckon both are both Claire's Jolteon's at half HP, my Beansaw's at half HP. I think we'll still be fine. Maybe? I don't know, actually, if he said that. I should it try and avoid some of these. Well, yeah. I didn't realise it was a Dodging is such a big part of gym battling, actually. Ooh, ooh, we could be. A no, no, you hit it with a thunder. I know. Yo, but then I got oh, out. I just. Oh, oh you got your eyes so well. <laughs> That's so good. Hey. Right, now we have to be super speedy. Yeah, should I put in. This is a place with a lot of people. Actually, I don't, I'm not going to put my Venus, it's a little bit too risky. I'm going to put in. God, order it in <gasps> combat power. No. no. Right, let's fight it. Come on, we got it. What? This. So basically, what's happened is Team Valor came along. We have to take it back down. Damn you, Team Valor. Look. That's so awesome. <laughs> okay, special time. Yo! Fire blast. Mad. Wait, that killed it? Oh yeah. my <laughs> god. Uh, that should be it. Right, quick, quick. Alright, we've got to get our Pokemon in quick. Mind you, Claire's all up to you because I've oh my axe crashed. It's blue, it's okay. blue. Oh <laughs> my god. I put Tentacruel on them. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I'm not even in yet, so hopefully no one comes along and steals that spot where I can put one in. Come on, come on, come on. Do you kind of feel like, as Team Blue, you have to put like a water Yeah, that's, that's so a really munchy. good point. That's really good. I think I'm going to put in my Slowbro. 1,700. Have I shown you my Slowbro before? I think you have. He's got, I evolved him at like 700 into that bad boy. Yeah, so good. Oh. 
So there we go guys, before we set off on our flight to Germany, we've taken down the gym here at the airport. So let's head off, because otherwise we're probably going to miss our flight, yeah, we'll we keep playing go. this game, and let's head to Germany. Alright guys, we've got a lot of rest on our plane, so we're going to do another plane capture. Last time we did this was on our way to Iceland, and again it was another rat infestation. 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 <laughs> so, I actually had an oddish on me, but then it, two oddishes run away from me on the way to the plane here. So it's just not like me right now. So hopefully, yes, hey. another plane capture. It was only a foot, baby. It was close. <gasps> I know. <laughs> Always running a million miles an hour right now, We're trying to keep up with the plane. Larger devices, including laptops, must be switched off and stowed away safely. Look at Claire's awesome side, that sock she got for her birthday. So we've landed in Germany and we're in the taxi on the way to our hotel and the first thing we're going to be doing here in Germany is not capturing Pokemon quite yet. I've got, I think, three or four, maybe three, two K eggs in a row to hatch. So maybe Germany can give you some good luck as we start off our Gamescom adventure. Obviously looking for starting Pokemon. Do that. Okay, not good. Not really what we want, but it's all right. We'll ignore it for the moment. What else have we got going on here? Second egg. Come on, I need a Pikachu or something with good luck. Start off this Gamescom journey with something great and Pidgey. I've, I've seen Josh or Zerka hatch three Charmanders in a row and then a Bulbasaur. How, how can you get that lucky? I haven't had a starting Pokemon in so long. <laughs> come on, come on, start off the week great. Oh my gosh, so that's a Zubat, a Rattata and a Pidgey from all of our three kegs. I think that's all of them. Yep, that, that's all That's all she wrote. So next up in terms of eggs, we'll have a 5k and actually quite actually loads of 5k. So we've got a 10k now incubated as well. But apparently Germany doesn't like me hatching eggs here because our luck has not started off strong. But who knows, I'm sure we'll find some great Pokemon here and hopefully can hatch some better eggs. It's one of our very first wild Pokemon. Look who it is. It's Eevee. She's come all the way with us from home to the airport and now to Germany. The CP's getting better, better than like the 40 we got in the airport, but I'm still looking for, honestly now, like high sixes, like 700 EVs, and still praying for that very poor on evolution. But it's awesome to see little Eevee with us. You miss her, don't you? Claire's updated her phone background. Look how cute she is. We miss her lots and lots. This, this is how I feel right now. I am, oh, absolutely shattered from the day of traveling. But we've arrived at our hotel. Let me show you what's around, actually. So we're staying in Cologne here in Germany, which is where Gamescom's happening. If you have a look on screen, you can see there's loads, there is a lot of pokey stops nearby, especially in the direction of, I believe it's the River Rhine, which runs through the middle of Cologne. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that means there could be a lot of magic harps there. Okay, I'll show you guys. All right, I will show you guys. I was gonna keep it a secret for a little bit, but if you're watching until the end, this is how we're looking right now. I'm actually gonna get rid of this guy. We are looking about three, nine, five candies from, for Gyarados. So we are literally so close being able to get it and it could happen it could happen on this trip we are definitely gonna hit 26 on this journey for sure maybe get to 27 I don't know obviously up to level 30 is when the wild Pokemon stop getting any stronger or chance of finding any stronger Pokemon stops so I'm still really grinding out for 30 so I can get like an 800 or 900 EV really cool stuff like that but the question is what do I want to get out of this trip well I know as I keep on saying a lot of YouTubers are coming along so I'm hoping to like get my best Pokemon and pit it against their best Pokemon, maybe do a few challenges, just have some fun basically. But in terms of what I'm looking for for my Pokedex, Pikachus, I want to get Pikachus from 2 eggs. I really want a Raichu, and I think Raichu's really overlooked as a Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and I think it's awesome. Love to get Sancho evolved. We've got a really decent amount of Nidoran female, and actually if we go over to Nidoran male, Candy's going on at the moment for Nido King and Nido Queen. I'm just not quite happy with my Nidoran male right now, I want a stronger one for sure. And my ultimate goal for one episode is is to evolve Volpix and Ponyta and Growlithe into three epic fire evolutions. So if I can find any of them out and about, I'll be really happy about that. Look at this, just as we're here, little Weedle spawned in. What's up, brother? German Weedle, I'm gonna leave him alone to be honest. I'm not even gonna bother right now. Now, obviously I haven't forgotten about the fact that Dragonite is amazing and I really want him. We've got 34 Dratini candies. I haven't really hatched or caught a Dratini in a while, but if we can find any nearby, that'll be epic. In terms of any nests that are near here, if you guys live in Germany, Cologne, or anywhere near here, if you know any spots that Claire and I or any of the other YouTubers can go and head to and find awesome Pokemon, leave a comment down below or just tweet me because you guys probably have a lot more knowledge of this area than I do. So let me know what you guys think about 
about bringing shiny Pokemon into Pokemon Go. Of course, we mentioned it in the video. Let me know what your favorite shiny Pokemon are. I meant to talk to Claire about shiny Pokemon and which one she really liked, but it did remind me that actually she found completely in the wild. So again, a one in 8,000, what was it, 194 chance of getting a wild shiny Pokemon when we were playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It was a shiny Krabby, believe it or not. So both of us have found shiny Pokemon and I would love it to come to Pokemon Go. And I think it'd be awesome and I think you guys would really like it. So hopefully you've enjoyed another episode. We've made it to Germany Gamescom. If there's any brand new games here at Germany Gamescom you want me to check out, let me know because all of the new games are here right now. And I would love to cover as many new stuff as possible. So leave a comment for that too. But thanks so much for watching. For the next few days will be our adventures here in Germany. So hope you're excited for that. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on another Pokemon Go adventure very soon.